that if the Aussie dollar closes above like 78 cents for the week, but we start closing above here, I'm going to go long the Aussie against probably a lot of stuff. Maybe that happens, but maybe this happens the same. We see a sell-off in the Euro Aussie or a strengthening of the Aussie dollar. You were talking about the USD yen before. Yeah. And this is a four-hour chart of the USD yen, and this is what I'm seeing. So I, yes, yes, uh, correct. Um, any catalyst that will bring USD yen lower to break this wedge uh, has a good possibility of then getting it all the way down to retest this zone 111.60 to 112 zone before we get another resumption higher. If we do, if this ascending wedge that we saw on the four hour chart is of significance, we might see a move lower from here, a retest, and then perhaps another move to test this zone and we see what happens from there. Each leg in ending diagonal should be made by three waves, so I suspect that another leg higher could be seen here to complete wave five. Okay, so that was wave A. I believe wave B and expecting wave C to the upside. I also warned in the webinar last week that we could get a pullback, a delay back to this uh, channel support line. And so far, this has unfolded very nicely. We are at this potential support zone. So be aware of a bounce higher into wave C.